You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper here, and welcome to One Horrifying Scene. In this series, we'll be talking about lots of horrifying scenes from movies. Um, that are awesome, some of my favorite scenes ever. And this is a playlist that anyone can participate in. So if you have a scene that you really love and want to talk about on YouTube, uh, if you're a horror channel, if you're just movie in general channel, or if you want to start a horror related channel, then you can just make a video like this and just post to YouTube, maybe send me the link and then I'll add it to this playlist. As we speak right now, if you're watching this, um, Christian Anna Horror, Roger, not me, but from 3bproductionco.com is uploading his video and also Dave Maggot. Now Gaby Hernandez would actually do this too, but unfortunately her camera was broken. There were so many scenes to choose from, even from this film alone, there were many scenes that I would love to talk about. Uh, but of course there's only one I can talk about, so I decided to go with my favorite kill of all time from any horror movie, any movie ever. And uh, it's this scene that's also on the cover. It's the dancehall scene. Uh, the amazing kill, the amazing special effects. If you're new to the channel, Intruder is my favorite movie of all time. I absolutely love it. I work in a supermarket myself. So some of the scenes that aren't supposed to be funny, or at least not funny to people that don't work in a supermarket, are really funny to me because it's super relatable. Now, why do I love this scene so much? Well, because the build-up is really good. Um, and not just in the scene itself, even before it. Like, way before in the movie, 15 minutes or something. It's already teased because you get the scene where the chicken is cut. And you see the band already. So basically what they're saying there is, you see this machine right here? We have it, so of course we're gonna do a kill with it. And I love that. I love the wink of like, you know, you see this? Yeah, there's gonna be a kill with it, and you know it. Also get a build up before uh, the actual kill. So like a few seconds before it. Because they sees that Jennifer is being watched by Craig, her ex-boyfriend. But as he walks towards the ladder, he sees Danny, and he has only one eye left because you know the scene that comes before which is also really painful and really awesome which I could have done an entire video on as well and this al already builds up something and he <laughs> tries to grab Dave but Dave falls to the floor and he's being grabbed by the killer and dragged towards the bandsaw <laughs> and now the tension really starts to build up because before he's being grabbed he gets sliced with a meat cleaver like a little piece of his head is actually cut off which also looks really realistic and is also really awesome and after that he's being dragged towards the dance hall and as he's being dragged he actually tries to grab the meat cleaver and you're, you're just every time I watch it I'm like dude grab it grab it but of course it doesn't change any time I watch it doesn't matter if I watch it a hundred times which I probably will just just doesn't manage to grab it, but it's really frustrating to watch, but I love it for that. Whenever a movie has a scene where you're like, dude, do it, do it, and even when, when you watch it a second time, and it, you know, you're still like, grab it, dude, and it doesn't happen, I, I love it whenever a film has a scene like that. But he's being dragged further towards the machine, and he's being thrown onto the thing, and he's being cut. And it isn't just being cut, he's like, it's, it, they don't hold back with this scene. I'm talking about the uncut version, of course. But you actually see the face get cut and the two pieces, like, damn. It's really gory, the effects are amazing. Like, you'd think that with a low-budget movie like this, the fake head would look like this or something. But it actually looks really realistic and as if it actually happened and we see pieces of meat flying everywhere and it's all really awesome and I it's actually quite funny because I saw someone talking about this movie a little and I was like oh that's pretty interesting that looks like a fun slasher film so I looked it up and I saw this poster it's on on this blu-ray and I didn't want to watch it because I thought it looked too gory now remember this was before I started watching all the good stuff like the actual good stuff and I was watching like pretty light-hearted 
horror movies. But then I started to really fall in love with the genre and watched a lot more and eventually I got to watching this one and now it's my favorite movie of all time. So I actually have a pretty weird history with this film. Like, it started with not wanting to watch it because it looked too gory to loving it for it being so gory. And this scene definitely stands out in this iconic and classic. I mean, they featured it on the poster of the Blu-ray. Look at the colors. It's really shiny, like you got the blue, you got the red over there and the green from the salad. Of course you got the hand, which is also a really cool scene actually. So yeah, this is not a cheap surprise uh, kill. This is actually a kill that has lots of tension and is actually being foreshadowed before it even happens. Before it's even close to happening, which I really love and I love it for that. Anyway, this was my one horrifying scene episode and uh, I hope you watch all the, I hope you watch some of the other ones as well. If you're watching this by the time it's released, there will be three other videos um, by Dave Maggot, Christian Hanna Horror and Roger from 3bproductionco.com. So definitely go check that out. I know some people that I already talked about this with and they thought it was an extremely cool and great ID. They will definitely join in on this. So definitely go check out the playlist. And if you want to participate yourself, please do so. Because I'll be adding you to the list. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to join in because it's really fun. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's